Hello YouTube, it is Alex here, or Fish Tanks for the win. And um, first of all, I'd like to say I'm very sorry for not doing a video in uh, about four days, I think. Um, I've been really busy at school and I've been working quite a bit this weekend, so haven't uh, had the chance to make a video. But um, we're literally just going to be going off to bed pretty soon. Um, it's not that late, but I'm pretty tired. So I just wanted to share with you my new filter that I got today um, it is the Fluval well, well I'll show you in more depth maybe in tomorrow's video it's the Fluval 306 so you can tell it's the 306 by the fact that the uh, intake and app are white and I don't know why they did that I think that's the stupidest thing they've done I mean if you look at the intake tube of my Aqua 1 filter there which I know the blue phone doesn't look all that nice, but if you look at the intake tube of that, it's it's black and it just blends right into my background. Um, you know, there's the, there's my Aqua one over there. Um, my flu was in the cabinet now, so I don't know why they would have made it white. Um, it literally makes it stand out even more. Um, sorry that my water's a bit cloudy. I've just finished doing a water change, so something else I got today is this really really big, like, bucket thing and it has a little screw cable like that um, and compared to my jug it's pretty big so about 25 litres in there which is pretty good um, I also got two more Siamese algae eaters so that's them back there actually they're not all that big again sorry for the poor water at the moment it will clear up in a second so there's the two new ones they seem to be sticking together quite a bit and then my my one I've had all along, or for a, a, a while, is back there behind that rock. There's the two new ones, just swimming across there on the rock, and then down there in those um, Amazon sword plants is, or oh, coming forward now, is the old one. So I've named her Nessie. I just thought Nessie was an appropriate name, I don't know why. And then behind her are the two new ones. Um, so yeah, I just want to talk about this filter a bit more that I got today. The thing that worries me most is not the colour of it or anything like that. It's just the flow rate. Because the Aquan filter I've got at the moment, um, it's about 370 litres an hour. It's crap, basically. It's absolutely terrible. Look, the output is still over there and I sort of, you can't even see anything. Because I sort of swapped the um intake and the output around so they're sort of opposite to the flu ball. Um within a month I'll be getting rid of that completely. Uh, I think I'm gonna give that to a friend and obviously I'll just be keeping the flu ball but for the next month I'm just gonna let the flu ball get cycled and the aqua one's got the good bacteria in it, um all the aerobic bacteria which the flu ball needs and by not touching the Aqua One filter and just letting it get as like dirty as possible, letting the flow the flow rate of it um, almost stop. Really, I'm gonna try and get some anaerobic bacteria going, but that's really unlikely because I've got plants. This fluval filter is oxygenating the water quite a bit, so it's going to be highly unlikely that I'm going to be able to grow some anaerobic bacteria um, for, you, for those of you who are sort of new to the aquarium world or whatever you don't know what, what the sort of bacterias are aerobic bacteria means the bacteria requires oxygen or air in order to live and that sort of bacteria converts ammonia into nitrite and nitrite into nitrate and both ammonia and nitrite are harmful to your fish and nitrate it can be harmful in very high levels and stressful for your fish um, which sort of causes diseases and stuff like that um, and aerobic, um, sorry, anaerobic bacteria uh, means the bacteria grows without oxygen so oxygen doesn't help the growth um, so like high flow of water um, stuff like that it won't like that because that brings oxygen with it so it needs a slow flow of water, um, it needs no oxygen really in order to grow and uh, anaerobic bacteria um, converts nitrate into just, well I don't even know what it converts it into but it gets rid of it as far as I know um, 
oxidizes I think is the word um, so that's pretty good if you haven't got a planted tank you could maybe I think there are some sort of filters you can actually buy that are pretty expensive but they're actually called anaerobic bacteria filters and they're sort of they were specially made to try and grow this bacteria um, but in a planted tank nitrate is generally used up um, by the plants oh and something else I got today um, is some new sort of medias under here so the first one well the others aren't really new but the first one is this Clearmax and treats phosphate, nitrite and nitrate uh, resulting in crystal clear water so the only thing I'm worried about is the clear water and the phosphate and nitrate. I don't care about the nitrite because I don't have nitrite. Um, the other thing I got was some carbon and some more biomax because I never think these things come with enough biomax. That's my 305 just over there and my 306 is there. I never think fluval filters come with enough biomax. I always like to add a bit more just to give a bit more biological filtration. Um, so that the 306 is in there is absolutely packed with media. Um, it's pretty full. And the other thing that they've done with these new 06 series is the bottom basket in the 305 is where they had the carbon um, and then it went like carbon, biomax, um, yeah it was like sorry the bottom basket was carbon, the second basket one side was carbon one side was biomax and then the top basket it was all Biomax, and there was like a polishing pad in there. Well, now what they've done is they've got something called a bio sponge in the bottom basket, which is basically quite a dense, thick black sponge, and it's got all these like rising and falling ridges on it, which I guess is to help with bacteria to colonize on it. Um, so that's pretty good, I think. Um, but it sort of like uses up a whole basket, which is a lot on just sponges, because obviously Biomax is for biological stuff, so they could obviously just pack more of that in there I guess um, but then sponges does help with like water clarity and stuff like that so I don't know um, also I've only got it so maybe in a couple of weeks I'll do like a whole review on it you know give you my opinions um, yeah so I'm just hoping that this um, Clearmax I got is going to help with my uh, hair algae possibly and obviously this filter's got a high flow which is something I'm worried about for the fish is it blowing them around too much is it like are they just getting pushed around the tank by the flow um, but they're all sort of fish from uh, rivers and places like that so I'm guessing you know that's okay they like the flow rate I'm not sure uh, if you guys could help me out with that that would be good um, yeah uh, so that's about it, really. Just let you have a look at my tank a minute. The water's starting to clear up right now. <coughs> but yeah, with the higher flow from this filter, algae grows <coughs> where there is less flow. So with more flow in the tank, hopefully the algae won't grow as much. And plants do like flow. Plants like flow because it brings them fresh CO2. It brings them nutrients and stuff like that, you know, so.